Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Saturday, July 31st, 2021. Today I'm going to be doing a refresher on COVID testing, and I'm going to be giving some thoughts about some of the unhealthy dialogue about the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. So let's go right in and talk about COVID testing. Now, the gold standard is the PCR test. PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. That's a mouthful. This test, the PCR test, checks for the genetic material of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that virus that causes COVID-19. Now, a positive PCR test means that someone was infected recently, but it does not indicate contagiousness. Why is that? Well, because you can have a positive PCR test and your PCR test can remain positive for weeks, even after you've recovered from COVID and can no longer be a danger to others. So PCR test positive means you've been infected recently, but it doesn't say if you're still contagious. Now, the rapid antigen tests, that's another, te- another test for COVID. It works by detecting a particular protein on the surface of the virus and only viable contagious virus harbors enough surface antigen to mount a positive test. So I'm assuming you've, you're taking a test that's really reliable and has uh, been approved under emergency use authorization by the FDA. So a person only tests positive on a rapid test at times when they're contagious. Now that's why they test like the professional athletes with the rapid antigen test and they don't let them play again until the rapid antigen test is negative. The other thing I want you to know is getting a COVID vaccine, any of them, will not interfere with either a PCR test or a rapid antigen test. So if you've had the COVID vaccine and your rapid antigen or your PCR test is positive, that means you are infected recently with the COVID virus. Now, regardless of your vaccination status, If your, again, PCR test or your rapid antigen test is positive, it means that you've been recently uh, infected. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. I hope that I have never shamed and blamed the unvaccinated. And if I have, I want to publicly apologize for that right now. Because after talking to so many people over the past six months, while I was doing education around COVID and the vaccines, I have come to understand how much confusion and misinformation is out there. There are doctors, there are nurses, there are researchers, health science researchers who are out there telling people not to get vaccinated. Just as much as there are doctors, nurses, researchers, telling people to get vaccinated. And some people just don't know what to do or who to believe. Then there are, you know, family members and friends and religious leaders and politicians that have weighed in on either side. So the bottom line is there's a lot of information, misinformation, polarization, opinions. There's a whole lot of communication out there on the vaccines. And for some people, they just don't know what to do. Some people really believe after listening to a lot of people that these vaccines were rushed in development, they really want more time. Some people don't believe that, uh, some people believe that taking the vaccine shows a lack of faith in God. Some people are just weary from all the controversy Some people fear both the vaccine and the virus. And some people, folks, truly believe that these vaccines alter DNA. Now, I have family members who are unvaccinated, and they are strongly opposed to the vaccine, and I still love them. I've taken my two shots, but that doesn't make me a better person than someone who hasn't taken their COVID vaccine 
For me, I was able to weigh my own health risk. I thought about the health of my immune system and how it might stack up or not stack up against this coronavirus. And I made my decision quickly to be vaccinated. But for others, it's a more complicated decision and some people are very stressed over their decision not to get vaccinated. And now with the threat of losing their jobs and it's and their economic livelihood, it's getting more challenging. So I just hope that we take time to not judge. Let's not be divided over this. We've got to work together. We're all in this world together. One human race trying to solve a global pandemic. We have got to try to understand the concerns and fears of the unvaccinated. We've got to try to, and some people just very few, but they're just not going to be able to be vaccinated. We've got to make it safe for everybody. Lastly, if you want to get the vaccine and you're not sure how to go about getting it or where to get it, you live in the United States, you can text your zip code to 438829 or Do a web search on vaccines.gov to see where you can be vaccinated. So that's my message today. I uh, hope everyone has a safe uh, weekend, gets out there and enjoys the sunshine if you have an opportunity. Stay healthy, folks. Try to keep your mental health in check. And get some sleep, get some rest, eat right, get some physical activity, be as healthy as you can be, see your doctor, get your checkups, and as always, my views are my own, and have a blessed day.